this is Roy Candy from Epic Gaming Night, and today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 epic games from 2016. I know the word epic gets thrown around way too much, and totally I agree, but these are the games from 2016 that I feel like best fit the category. They have strong, amazing thematic moments and can create amazing experiences and have epic narrative. So here's my list. Let's start this off with my number 10, it's London Dread. It's a cooperative programming game set in Victorian horror setting with all sorts of different scenarios and you're working together as a team trying to program this little cool clock and trying to solve all the different pieces and find all the different plots on the board in real time. And then you're going through the second part of the phase where you are acting out all the different things that you programmed your character to do, and then you're trying to save up and not get as much dread as you can so you can roll the dice for the end game, and it creates epic moments, and that's my number 10, London Dread. My number nine is Dead of Winter, The Long Night. This is a follow-up to the original Dead of Winter, and it feels like the same game, but they added all these exciting modules to make it even more epic. There is the upgrades you can make to the settlement where you use different junk pieces to upgrade your settlement with turrets and like barricades and all sorts of awesome things. And then there are the uh, Raxon where you can go in and there's super mutants coming out, like super zombies coming out and attacking all the different places on the board. And you're, you can go in there and get all sorts of crazy technology. And then there's also the bandits, which are filling up the different spots in the way. You can trade them food to make them go away. You can fight them off and they attract more zombies, but they also steal stuff and take it back to their camp. You can try to go to their camp and raid their camp back and find specific items. This just adds more to the Dead of Winter game, so it makes it super exciting. That's why it's my number nine epic game. My number eight is Conan. This game is a hack and slash game where you're running around, there's one versus many, you're trying to kill off all the monsters and complete the different objectives depending on the scenario. Conan's jumping from the side of ships and busting down walls to get into village huts. It truly feels epic. I'm normally not into these button masher type games like Zombie Side, where you just run around killing a whole bunch of monsters, but this game is awesome with the whole crystal mechanic where there's back and forth in how many crystals you have and you use those for actions. So Conan is my number eight epic game. My number seven was originally a board game and they turned it into a card game and pumped tons more theme and tons more narrative into it. And that is the Arkham Horror LCG. I love the deck building in this game and how it slowly ramps up and there's tons of tension and lots of story. The story is what makes this game epic. As you're playing through, there's not a whole lot out for the game right now, but they are already come out with two different small expansions, print on demand ones, and then they're coming out with the deluxe expansion at the end of this month. So I'm super excited to see all of the stuff coming out for Arkham Horror LCG, and it is truly an epic story. My number six is Cry Havoc. I love how asymmetrical this game is with the four different factions. You have Trogs that are trying to protect the planet, and then you have the machines that are just trying to kill everything in their path, and the humans are trying to do this whole area control thing and spread out, and then you have the Pilgrims who are trying to manipulate crystals to get lots of points. This is an awesome area control style game where you're trying to do all sorts of epic things, so that's why it's my number six. My number five is Scythe. I love the way this game looks. The art is epic. The mech miniatures are epic. Like everything is awesome. The mechanics are epic. So this game is great the way everything comes together. I actually really like the combat system because I love that bidding combat from Dune and things like that. Scythe is my number five. 4X games are definitely one of my favorite genre in all of board gaming. I love exploring, expanding, exploiting, and exterminating. And that's why my number four is Star Trek Ascendancy. This game feels like all sorts of different Star Trek things can happen, but there's all this conquest and stuff that's going on as well. You're taking over planets, getting technologies, and trying to take over your opponent's stuff and get lots of ascendancy and build your culture. I love how all the different event cards are like different things from the show. And I'm not a huge Trekkie, but I love 4X games and that's why this is my number four. My number three is probably the most hyped game of 2016 and it deserves every bit of it. Mechs vs. Minions is an awesome cooperative programming game where you're going through all these cool little scenarios that come in these little dossiers that you open up and you work together as a team to try to figure out and solve each one of the different objectives. It's got soundtracks that you can listen to online for each one of the different missions and it's got all sorts of amazing pre-painted miniatures and massive huge box with amazing inserts. 
this game is not only looks amazing, but plays amazing. And that's why Mechs vs. Minions is my number three epic game. There are a ton of Star Wars games out there, and there's all sorts of different ones, but if you want one that feels like the entirety of Star Wars in a box, it's gotta be Star Wars Rebellion, my number two. I love how you can do all sorts of different things in the Star Wars universe. You can capture characters in Carbonite, you can build Death Stars, you can do trench runs and blow up Death Stars, you can send Luke to go train with Yoda. There's all sorts of awesome things that can happen that make Star Wars Rebellion truly epic, and it's Star Wars on a huge scale. If you haven't played Star Wars Rebellion, I highly recommend it. My number two is Star Wars Rebellion. There are tons of games out there with the Lovecraft theme, but my number one does it better than all the rest. Mansions of Madness Second Edition takes everything from First Edition, streamlines it, and makes it completely cooperative. This game has awesome narrative and crazy puzzles that you're trying to solve as a team. I love cooperative games and I love working together and the narrative in this game is super. They keep coming out and adding more and more things to this game and we've already seen a lot come out for it this year already and I'm super excited to see how epic Mansions of Madness second edition can become. So if you're looking for a Lovecraft game that beats all of our Lovecraft games and feels truly epic in its narrative and storyline, check out Mansions of Madness second edition, my number one of 2016. Thank you guys so much for checking out my top 10 list of the most epic games from 2016. Make sure to go down in the comments and tell me what you think the most epic game for 2016 is, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.